¿Qué pasó, YouTube? This is my not so short garden tour video. <laughs> so, hope you enjoy it. I want to throw in a quick before. No more mowing. All right, so this is the now. Couple of reasons why I wanted to do a garden tour. Hey, Elsa. <laughs> that was my dog. So, a couple of reasons is get a nice before picture. I got a lot of weeds. Yeah, so it's a nice before picture. My maples are looking stunning. My dogwood looks awesome. I love how I love how that dogwood looks. So those are a couple of reasons why I'm excited to see what it ends up looking like once everything gets tall, it fills in, and it starts blooming. So I'm excited about that. Up front I have two mighty pip as still be so uh we'll see how they do with the uh the late afternoon sun so in between each pillar i have dappled willow cuttings that i got they have a nice pinkish whitish color they are they're really pretty so these are cuttings my goal for these are to train them onto the entrance the entryway so this used to be part of a gazebo that i'm glad did not make it so i made them into an entrance and so yeah i'm excited to eventually train them onto like to the size of the pillars so uh, we'll see what happens there and uh, they get tall really fast that is one season of growth but uh Early spring, um, the winter, after everything thawed out, a windstorm knocked down this part of the gazebo or the entrance. And along with it, it took one of the, the taller dappled willow cuttings. So the top part of it looks dead, but hopefully it leaves out. We'll see. In here, I have some uh, festuca grass that I, a couple of them, well, one of them I split in half. And every time I pass by, I just brush some with my hand. I like doing that. I have uh, three mini hostas in this bed. This is my shade garden. I have a uh, three autumn fern. All around the back, I have uh, some variegated hosta uh, that I got from a job a while back. In the middle, I have a plantain lily. Another hosta. So... Here I have, here where I'm pointing, I have a black-eyed Susan. So I'm excited to see it come up and start blooming. Right there where I'm pointing, I have another black-eyed Susan. So it should look nice once it fills in. Right there, right in the middle, I have uh, what I transplanted, the lilac from last, last fall. This one right here, so... It'll be blooming in a couple weeks. It'll be nice and fragrant. So I'm excited for that. Up uh, up front, I have a uh, Uamis that I got from a job a while back. Right there, I have uh, some Max Frey geraniums. I have three Arborbita, rain gold Arborbita. So um, around the Arborbita, I have uh, Max Frey geranium and geranium roseanne cranesbill so i'm excited to see these guys just fill in get nice and tall uh, so we'll see what happens this one right here has not come up yet so i'm a little worried we'll see this one is also geranium roseanne it's doing good that one right there it's not hasn't come up yet and then that one is doing pretty good I'm excited to see just everything fill in here in this area. All right, so right here is my little seating area under my maple. Here I have two hookera. I believe they are plum pudding. There was a third one over there, but um, it didn't make it. I took forever to plant a lot of these things last fall since I was so busy redoing everything. But uh, I am excited for this shade garden right here. Everything's going to be nice and filled in. 
I want to show you my view from right here. Right here I am sitting down underneath the canopy of the maple and it, it just it feels amazing. Uh, you, you can call me biased because I believe my plants are better than all y'all so <laughs> call me biased all right but hey I'm not I'm not a hater all right and you shouldn't be either. I'm just saying my plants are better than all you. <laughs> all right over here I have a um, winterberry holly the male holly is over by that um, ornamental grass over there. And I have those two gold mops. So um, right here I have um, another winterberry. And in between, right there I have uh, another mighty pip astilbe. Around it are four max ray geraniums. I'm hoping the leaves, once it leaves out, it provides some shade for the still be so we'll see and right here where I am pointing are a bunch of uh, liriope so I'm excited to see them just get to their mature height and just provide that nice border border all around so I'm excited for that as you can see I didn't use any plastic edging I might later on we'll see this area over here the left side I planted all that well almost all of it I planted it in um, late like early spring last year and then a couple things like this sedum I planted in the fall time and so the right side of the steps um, I did not those I, I did transplant so that is why you see the butterfly bush which is the one in the back that's why the one on the left side is much bigger than the one on the right side. All right, so here on this bed, well this, first I have a Dianthus that I stuck in there. Uh, they bloomed here and there throughout the winter time. They're evergreen. And in, in the middle, I have uh, more dappled willow cuttings. For these, I probably will train into like a standard, like a topiary standard some sort we'll see okay and back to this bed here I have a row of or a border of liriope so uh, in the middle there never mind <laughs> here I have a pinky winky hydrangea so this was on sale I've been wanting a pinky winky forever that one was on sale at Home Depot last fall there was only one it was one and lucky me i was able to split it in half so i got two and now i'm going to try and train them onto like a tree form so this bed will be the hydrangea tree bed something like that and then right there i showed you some uh, maple seedlings from my japanese maples and that hydrangea right there is a sweet summer hydrangea that i bought a couple years ago this is a dwarf purple bloomerang. This one, I also got this. I got it the same time I got the pinky winky. And I also split it in half. And then on the left side and the right side, I got some lilac cuttings that I just stuck in there. And they are now starting to uh, butt out the, the leaves. Then there's more geraniums. I'm not sure what color those will be. Those I got from a job that I did a while back. So I stuck them in here and I think it works because I have geranium everywhere. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. Back there I have uh, four dwarf little giant arborbita, I believe. And uh, moving this way, I have, um, well there I'm showing you the spireas. I have a winterberry stuck in there, a gara. Here's my little iris that is now blooming, looking beautiful. Uh, right here, never mind. <laughs> right here, I have a black eyed Susan, and then another one on the other side. And right there is a Nepeta, I think it's a Six Hills Giant cat mint. And then there's the other black eyed Susan that I uh, split from uh, another one. Here is a Rose of Sharon that I am training 
into a tree. This one and that one right there, I got off of my other one that was already here. So I just uh, dug them out and stuck them on there. In here I have um, what is called purple leucistrife that are now starting to come up. As you can see, I did not clip them down, but uh, you can clip these. They are purple leucistrife. You can clip these in the autumn time. I just left them. And then at the bottom I, ha I have some um, Yuamis cuttings that are now about, well, one of them is about two years old. And those are the purple leucistrife now coming up. In a couple weeks, they'll get a lot taller. And then they'll probably max out around four feet tall, maybe five feet tall. This one, I believe, is a holly that I got from a job that I did. So I decided to just rescue it and it'll make it. It just has a lot of dead stuff on it. All right, so right here I got these two pots and then I got two uh, another spot. Then those I believe are some kind of uh, vinca or something. They're like a trailing plant. Then here's the other two pots. I'm still not sure what I'll plant there. Maybe I just plant some petunias this year. So in this raised bed, I am experimenting. I used a horse manure. Uh, decomposed horse manure according to Google uh, flowering plants don't like it but I don't really just like reading off a book or watching YouTube videos I like experimenting and I think we should all experiment so we'll see what happens and I have some sedum some iris uh, some black-eyed Susan more purple lucid strife I have a uh, Two or three crepe myrtles, dwarf crepe myrtles. But there you can see that little iris is already about to flower. So we'll see. And I also have um, two rose bushes that my in-law gave me. I am excited to just see this uh, raised bed filled in. These two roses I'm going to try and train. See if they climb up there. This one right here is called... Princess Charlene de Monaco. It's got a really nice fragrant uh, bloom. It's like a light pinkish color. I like it a lot. Uh, so I'm excited to finally have found a home for these plants right here. And I got the black eyed Susan towards the back. So once it fills in, I'm just excited. All right, I'm, I'm excited for a lot of stuff back here. Call me biased. <laughs> So, all right, so moving this way, uh, all these cinder blocks I got for free a couple weeks ago. So in this bed, I stuck a bunch of stuff that I just hate throwing plants away. So I stuck a lot of stuff. I got iris, I got dutzias, I got purple lucis drive, I got some chrysanthemums, some asters, some small flocks, some tall flocks, two boxwoods that I rescued a while back. A lot of these are rescue plants right here. So I'm just excited to see what it ends up looking like. I didn't really choose a specific spot to place everything in. Well, I, I did put the, and then you see is a little hosta right there. So, but in the middle, I did put the tall flocks. And then right here, I got, I bought some, um, some cone flowers. So we'll see what it ends up looking like. And so I'll, I'll be getting more cinder blocks for this area and then put it probably putting some like wall caps. I think this could make like a nice little seating area on the, the right side anyway, over by the decorative rock. And there I have three hostas. So I'm excited to see them fill that little spot. And then I definitely was not going to risk my Japanese maple in the raised bed no there's no way so i just separated it and then right here i'm showing you more maple seedlings and and there again i'm showing you that amazing looking uh, dogwood cornish florida dogwood and then this is how it looks like right now um I got a couple more stuff to do, but I'm just glad I got it done last fall. I'm glad I don't got to do it anymore. 
And I mean, I'm still doing stuff, but I'm glad. Basically, what I'm trying to say is it came out so much better, so much nicer than I thought it would. So if you're ever in the same boat, just be a little patient and and uh, it'll come it'll come out really good in the end. So that is it, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed my not so short garden tour video of my backyard. So peace out, YouTube.